there is a long list of special people, I mean, people with special needs uh, that are using chess in a very successful way. For instance, ADHD, blind people, other disabilities, Down syndrome, drug addicts rehabilitation, prisons, and many more. One of the most interesting ones is autism and Asperger syndrome. Why is that so interesting? Because if you try to communicate in a conventional way uh, with a person with autism, then most likely you are going to fail. That she or, or he, that person will reject you. But chess allows he or she to express their creativity and their character without talking and without touching anybody. This is really very important for them. And then they can do this with no tension and breaking the eyes of communication with other people. Our speaker on that is Anastasia Sorokina. Her curriculum is a very long one, but let's uh, summarize it. Besides being a women international master, arbiter, organizer, trainer, former president of the Belarus Chess Federation, she is mainly the leader of several social projects related to chess, and that's mainly why she is with us today. Please, Anastasia, feel very welcome to this uh, Educational Chess Summit. The title of your presentation is Infinite Chess for Kids with ASD. Thank, Thank you very you. much, Anastasia. Thank you. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm glad to welcome you all in this wonderful event. My name is Anastasia Sorokina, and I'm a leader of FIDE Social Projects. Today, I want to speak about a very important, challenging, but very meaningful project. The project is Infinite Chess Project for children with autism spectrum disorder. ASD is a complex neurological disorder that begins early in life and affects how person acts and interacts with others, communicates and learns. Different people with autism can have different symptoms. For this reason, autism is known as a spectrum disorder. And this is why each person with autism has a different set of strange and challenges. It is hardly possibly fully perceived the whole spectrum of feeling and emotions that kids experience. But I suggest that you watch a video uh, to get an in, in, in insight into uh, what they are dealing with their everyday life. I'm autistic and I just get too much information.
According to the World Health Organization, it is estimated that worldwide one in every 160 children has autism spectrum disorder. The following slides, slides that I want to show you, showing the, the countries with the lowest autism rates, you can see it here, and countries with the highest autism rates. Of course, we have to understand that not in each country they have a statistic and this data, but the, the numbers show clearly that every year we have more and more numbers uh, of, uh, with kids with autism spectrum disorder. So it's very important to remember that none of the kids with autism have the same experience and that each child suffers from his or her own personal kind of stress. Every new sound, every new place or light uh, could immediately become a stressful situation and influence their behaviors. Teaching an autistic kid can be a challenging process because each child with autism has different and unique needs and we must accommodate them to help the child to succeed. We can't measure they succeed. The ways in which people with autism learn, think and problem solve can range from highly skilled to several challenged. I suggest for you another video about a girl who has ASD to demonstrate how she feels about typical things uh, in her life and in our life that we often even don't pay attention in our daily life. Hmm. I can't wait for a coffee. Oh, hello, barista. What do you guys want? Um, skim soy latte. <laughs> Taryn, soy can't be skim. Hot chocolate, orange juice. No, Dad, I want a coffee. Hot chocolate? Great. Sarah's later. Can you give me a ride? Yeah, sure. Are you cool with taking your sister? Yeah. Wait. What? I have my own plan. Okay, I'll see you tonight, okay? Behind each successful project, uh, there is a personal story, almost uh, all the time. And our personal story started in Minsk back in 2019, when we started our first project uh, for kids with autism spectrum disorder. It was an important step, but still an experiment. We did our best to gather all information we had for the moment about the disorder, how to set up a classroom for the kids, how to, what kind of methods we can use to teach them to play chess. And I have to admit, the first group of kids showed very impressive progress during the chess classes. As a result, our experiment became a very successful project for ASD kids socializing um, using chess. As for now, FIDE and the International Olympic Committee took into account our positive 
uh, experience of 2019, uh, turned into a serious international project with meaningful and concrete result. Today, Infinite Chess project is a strong and meaningful tool which has already proved its priceless impact of kids with autism playing chess. Our team created a special program based on our unique experience in 2019. Uh, and this program can be actually used for uh, individual kids or for group of the uh, kids who uh, we try to teach, learn to play chess. Uh, with the support of International Olympic Committee, uh, our um, program was translated to four foreign languages, English, French, Russian and Spanish. And you can find it in FIDE website and download on one of uh, those four languages. Now I would like you to watch a video from one of our authors of this uh, guide. Hello from Canada. My name is Alan Mishanka. I live in Toronto and work at the Canada's largest public school board as a special needs educational assistant for 18 years. I work with kids aged 4 to 21 who have autism and other developmental disabilities. The team of Indefinite Chess Trade can develop a special program which aims to teach kids with ASD to play chess. Our program has detailed recommendations how to accommodate specific and unique needs of students with autism during the learning process. As one of the authors of this program and a professional who on a daily basis works with children with autism, and also based on the feedback from the teachers who already use our program and parents of the students, I firmly believe that children with autism would highly benefit from participating in internet chess. According to World Health Organization, it is estimated that worldwide one in every 100 children has autism. In 2021, these numbers were much lower, one in 160. Some of the countries with the lowest autism rates are France, Portugal, Norway, Italy, and the highest, South Korea, USA, Canada, and Australia. Unfortunately, the numbers are growing, and we have to do everything we can to help kids with autism to become involved and feel like a part of their community. I strongly believe that the chess could be one of the tools. There are so many benefits of engaging autistic children in chess activity. Chess lessons improve cognitive, communication, and social skills, promote inclusion and quality of life, increase self-esteem and confidence in kids with ASD. Due to studies and research conducted in the area being limited, the guidelines of finding this program should be considered as recommendations and not as an official recognized methodology until research on infinite chess program is conducted. But our team strongly believe that we can make a difference. Thank you for your attention. The teacher must set particular goals depending on the student's age and functional level. This step is even more important when you're dealing with ASD children. This is why, working with our partners, we organize educational seminars uh, and a grounding in our educational program. Uh, during the first seminar, we have more than 130 participants from over 50 countries around the world. Followed by this uh, seminar, we organize a second one where we already present our program and we teach and explain how to use this program for potential teachers, tutors, and even parents who want to use chess uh, to the, uh, the child to learn how to play chess. Uh, after six months of the running of the program, Feed the Infinite Pilot Project program has helped more than 60 kids uh, with ASD from Turkey, France, Norway, Spain, Africa, and Gibraltar. Deep interest of our partners not only connected with chess from different countries proves that researching the disorder and developing special tools for it is uh, it's very important aspect in our project. Together with the French Fe Chess Federation, we took part in Chess for Mental Health uh, International Conference in Paris. And after this, in July, we held FIDE Madrid Chess Conference. One of the program highlights was a round table with Infinite Chess Project. 
In, during this conference, representatives from all con continents shared their experience with us. And, and we carefully consider this because our top goal is always improving ourselves through feedbacks of our um, participants and partners. We know, based on the multiple feedbacks from parents and tutors, that chess does help kids with ASD, but we still lack necessary scientific research on this topic. Uh, following of the success of our previous uh, seminars, we are ready to organize third educational seminar of Infinite Chess Project, and I want to use this opportunity to invite everyone who is interested about it to join our, conf uh, our seminar tomorrow. It will be online, and you can find all information and feed the website. Uh, the pilot project is currently ongoing in 15 countries. Uh, in yellow color, you can see uh, countries that uh, already participate in, and orange uh, color, you can see the countries that will join us after the uh, seminar tomorrow. Of course, I would like to express my deep gratitude for the trust and support from the International Olympic Committee, International Chess Federation, together with this Planning and Development Commission and Social Commission that we are uh, closely work together. As I have mentioned before, currently we are, uh, our first result is just personal feedbacks from parents, coaches, tutors, uh, and uh, this is very important for us, but we really hope that in the coming year will be a new step for Infinite Chess Project in this field. And uh, we are currently in the process of expanding our Erasmus application to receive additional budget for uh, scientific result, uh, research and developing the project. But at the same time, we are working closely with the Chess Scientific Research Institute in Armenia, and they already launched the first scientific research of the Infinite Chess Project. This research includes questionnaire interviews, video analysis system, and will scientifically prove, we hope, the degree of program impact of kids with ASD. Of course, it was uh, already uh, demonstrated that teaching chess to children with ASD has a positive impact of their social communication and cognitive skills. Uh, one of our um, authors of our program, Natalia Popova, says that children start to pronounce the words clearly. They are able to formulate their thoughts. The non-verbal children who have problems with learning demonstrate the ability to answer simple questions. The kids who showed some sign of aggression before become less aggressive and have some progress in ability to control their aggressive behaviors. They become more um, persistent. Their behaviors and overall interaction uh, have surely improved. Oops, sorry. Uh, and according to our questionnaires, we know for such uh, that uh, chess uh, stimulates cognitive development, social development, emotional development, and we do hope that soon we can obtain research to make our observations statistically substantial conclusions. We will do our best to continue and expand the significant beginning. And last but not least, please watch a video about our project. for joining us uh, for the second FIDE educational seminar of the Infinite Chess Project. The expert team and the, the participants of the, the seminar, I'm uh, very honored actually to welcome you uh, at the second seminar dedicated for uh, our project Infinite Chess, where uh, in other words, the, the project that is dedicated for using chess for empowerment of uh, kids, particularly kids uh, with autistic spectrum disorder.
Thank you very much, and together we can do even more.